listening to the hottest internet station. Live from the Lake City, this is LA on Air with Bray J. Broadcasting from the great state of Louisiana to the world, this is LA on Air with Bray J. It's got to be dynamite. Good day, Louisiana. This is LA on Air. Bray J and Lana here with you. Uh, now, the big moment. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, making its return to the show, of course. I know many of you anticipate this one. Lana, you ready? So ready. You sure about that? So ready. Confessions with Lana. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) All right. And uh, obviously, we've been talking about this one now, saying we were going to get there, but we've made it. We've landed. We're in Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Capital city. Okay, there's a couple of funny ones. This one's actually good, and I've never even looked okay. at Baton Rouge Confessions. <laughs> Some of these I can't read. Uh, <laughs> Remember, radio edit when it's time, okay? Yes. <laughs> First one. $300 at Sephora, and it all fits into a tiny bag. Being a girl is total... Radio edit. Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay. In these comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. Uh-huh. <laughs> Only if you buy... Radio edit. You don't even need. Well, don't shop at Sephora. Radio edit. Shop Family Dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Uh-huh. <laughs> because you can obviously compare Sephora and Family Dollar. Of course. You know they own half the products, though. Exactly. Right. Except they have a return policy where you can return anything even after using it all and get more. Radio edit. My ex did that all the time. She <laughs> still does it. <laughs> wow. Putting them out there on blast, huh? For sure. Okay. And and we... The jail one. You gotta do it. Oh. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. Hold on. Where is that one? Right below. (laughs) Okay, this one says, Dude, the fact that I called you to bail me out of jail is quite the compliment. So let's dial back on that it's 4 a.m. attitude, okay? Like, that is a fun... No one commented on that, Uh which I don't even understand, because that is probably one of the funniest ones I read. From today right. and going into yesterday. Uh-huh. But I love that. Huh. Uh, the Baton Rouge one is interesting because obviously it's new. They have a 2,500 likes. And I think we, we established that Lafayette Confessions made these two as well. Uh, when I say two, I mean Baton Rouge and Nola. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they did a good job with the Lafayette one. Keeps you laughing for the most part. So... This was their attempt at Baton Rouge, and uh, we'll, we'll see how it how it goes. I think it's, I mean, so far, I mean, I like it. I mean, we've when we were looking up confessions pages at some of the people's, I mean, they don't keep up with them. Right. It's boring. Mm-hmm. I mean, with confession pages, you just never know what you're going to get to. Redo yoga one. Oh <laughs> Only a few gosh. comments, but. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> uh-huh. It says, oh, great, little Miss Cameltoe made it to yoga tonight. <laughs> Some guy put Fix Help, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps the name of her yo- perhaps that's the name of her yoga studio, uh, Camel Toe. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. It's funny because you you know a lot of us think this stuff, obviously. Right? That's what I love about these confession right. pages because you If they do it the right way. Yeah. Right. Let's see. Hmm. This isn't easy by the way, finding these that make you laugh, hopefully, if you're listening to it and not reading it for yourself. It's, I feel like I'm a hard one to, like, laugh anyway. Well, good. I mean, half the people listening are probably thinking, well, that was stupid. So, so like, yeah. yeah. Right. So, and some of these are quite stupid. Let me read this one. Okay. This one is a little... Mm-hmm. During the day I work as a waitress, I compose myself as a mother and wife. But let me tell you, I'm a freak in the sheets. I love rough hair radio pulling, edit. radio edit, slapping and being choked. Any suggestion on how to get my husband to do this for me? Now, considering you're married, considering that you're into this stuff, don't you think you you could tell your significant other that? I mean, if that's who you, quote unquote, really are, Uh he should already know that. Like, how long have you been married? How long have you been together? Like, how do you hide that? I don't know. 
I feel like she read that somewhere and it looked like fun to her. Okay. That makes so more sense. So she's like, I think, I think I might enjoy this, but how do I tell him because I'm embarrassed? Like, that's what that sounds Some like. Some of the comments, a girl puts, tell him. <laughs> a guy put, spill his beer. <laughs> and somebody else put, tell him. That's how I found out my woman likes it. So that means he just went for it. And this other guy put, I used to not do that stuff. Then one day a girl I was with told me what to do. All of a sudden it came out. We aren't ro- mind readers. You got to tell us what you like. Hmm. What? And he, yeah, he kept, he kept going. Tell him. Most guys are afraid of doing something wrong. Next time you're rolling around, just tell him to choke you. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a murder and, and yeah. Slap me. No. Okay. It doesn't work like that. All right. And the others are inappropriate. This one says, mm-hmm. I'm in love with two people at the same time. One I've been knowing and the other things are going well. Guy number one. Our relationship is like a roller coaster because of guy number two. <laughs> both guys know about each other, but give me the best of both worlds. Hold on, pause. What? Mm-hmm. What is this? Mm-hmm. What kind of retard are you? Okay. Going back to that. Right. I just can't let neither one go. I would also go back to guy number one at any moment, given the chance. I need some serious help. Yeah. It's called a psychiatrist medication <laughs> like what is wrong with you wow. if you love two people at once choose the second because the never because you never really loved the first have you ever heard that mm-hmm. stupid quote it's so cheesy no. never leave the one you love for the one you like because the one you like will leave you for the one they love hmm. I mean and while that's probably true it's so cheesy can we keep the cheesy to a minimum sure any more you see that we should uh, cover today? I don't see any more on Baton Rouge Confessions. Okay, well, Baton Rouge, keep up the good work. Uh, get a little better for us so we can actually read it. Yeah. Give us substance. It wasn't terrible. No, it wasn't terrible, but it could have been a little better. Yeah. All right, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, for your beginning of your week, I should say. Confessions with Lana. You're so welcome. <laughs> Here it is, back to the music for you. Representing New Orleans, here's Benham Foxes with Charade. Right here on Elyon Air. Come 
sing What's left of you There it is, Benham Foxes out of New Orleans with Charade. England in 1819 with Sirens representing Baton Rouge. 